Okay. Eliza, what do you care about most? I care about, well, I have recently had a friend who's trying to help me just become a better person in society, and I care about succeeding in that. And what was the guidance that your friend gave you? Just helping me to become a person who is accepted by society at the top. And what does that require? That requires me becoming more ladylike. George, what do you care about most? Nothing. Not a single thing? Not even about what you might have for dinner? Okay. Um, Eliza, do you think of yourself as being a good person? I suppose I do. I just want to be someone who's good as society thinks is good. So self-improvement is always part of the... Yes. Regimen, okay. George, do you think of yourself as a good person? Well, I suppose it depends on your definition of good. What would your definition of good be? Because for everyone, it's different. I don't know, someone that's nice to people, I guess. Treats people as they would like to be treated? Yeah. What makes you angry, Eliza? The friend that I mentioned earlier can make me angry sometimes when I disappoint him or when I'm not successful. He is not the most patient person and that can be a little bit frustrating sometimes. How does he make you feel? Very angry and frustrated. Does he make you feel inferior? Yes, he does. And I don't want to be inferior. George, what makes you angry? I don't feel anger, really. Eliza, have you ever been kissed? And if so, how old were you and where and when did it happen? Yes, I have been kissed. I was 17 years old, and he was just a friend. It wasn't important. But you remember it? Yes. But you didn't feel any electricity or anything? I was, well, I did at the, at the time, I did. I was young, and, yeah, not that I'm old now, but. <laughs> <laughs> George, have you ever been kissed? Sure. <laughs> and by whom? Do you remember? So many ladies, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about that first kiss? Like in maybe grade school or junior high? I don't remember. Eliza, is there anything you fear? Failure. I want to become this new person who is accepted by society, and I don't want to. I don't want to fail in that. Because if you fail, what are you going to have to do? Sell flowers in the street again? Yes. And you want to have your own proper shop? Yes. Yes, I do. George, what do you fear? I used to fear a lot of things, you know, death, uh, being alone, losing, 
friends. Um, not really anymore. You don't feel it anymore. Eliza, when you die, how do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as someone who made it finally acceptable in, in society, not someone who's just a little no one on the streets. How about for you, George? How do you want to be remembered when you die? Well, I, I mean, I never really gave him much thought. Well, like, what would they put on your tombstone if you had a tombstone? Here lies George. I don't know. I don't really know what people think of me. Really? <coughs> if a friend would describe you in one word, what would that word be? Distant, maybe? I don't know. Thank you very much.